But I didn't last too long there. Uh, the president dismissed me because while I was in finance, he had some misunderstanding. And he had some wrong information, so he got the right angle. So he dismissed me. And from 75, I came home. So 75, I had to teach at university. And so I went full time at the university and I got a job with the private company is called the shipping line, you know, doing shipping, blue shipping line. And later on, uh, after being there for a while, I got another scholarship, I asked that scholarship to go over to the doctor. While I was there, the president asked me to so come back in and go on the door. Seventy-three. This thing happened seventy-four. Seventy-nine. Oh, seventy-nine. Mm -hmm. Seventy-nine, seventy-eight. Well, seventy-nine. I came home seventy-nine. He hit it from the March. Came home March. That's when he actually wants to go to the summer school. When I left. That you uh, went back, I said, okay, you commissioned me. I said, well, I have to go and withdraw from the destiny. So when I went back to the States to withdraw from the destiny, it was uh, 14, 79, 87, so I was in here. And many people, after when it happened, many people said, oh, I'm going to come back. So when I came back, and the president set up a commission back. And he put me on that commission. So we can go from there. I came back to that video. And the only comment that you see, I was on the commission. Women that you see behind there was the chairman of the commission. And then women in my community were on that commission. There was a report. You mean commission to investigate or to go into what happened on in that incident now on April 4th? Okay, go ahead. So that was it. And you were on your community? Yeah, I was on your community. Alright, so, so Jet, tell us what was your finding as a member of that committee? What did the committee look at? What, what are those things you were investigating? Well, well, first thing, the commission came out, which is very interesting that it was not politically motivated. It was right. Yes. Came out of that. It was simply a group of people tired with the system. And that was the response to this. But uh, I must admit that uh, the report was now well received by the president. So it's, yeah, it's hung up in the But I, when I was there in the commerce ministry, Mr. Sully was also at finance. Mr. Sully was at finance. And I was at finance too. And we were able to work together to rebuild the economy. And that was one of the best things that came out. Well, it was a really, it was a really, 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 really nice with the economy. Because one year later, we had the coup. How we not be able to build the economy back where the people had to rebuild their inventory? We have been in terrible situation when the coup happened. So, so Mr. Farah, before we get to the coup, we should be coming to the home. I'd like, I'd like to know why the president didn't, didn't accept uh, the commission that he instituted. Why, didn't the, why the president did not accept your report? Your report? What are the things that he said? Uh, why, uh, why I remember after we concluded our report and we informed him that we sent the report, we 
And who are the chair of that committee? What name? And we will buy from there to the mansion. And it was agreed upon that we will present the report and no member of the, no member of the commission will answer any question or comment on anything. It will be left with the chairman to answer. If he couldn't answer, then he would tell, he would say, give me an answer yes, sir. So we went to the magistrate. And uh, he met us. Just before we were to send there was a rumor that we would have the report had been down. But certain mention was made in the report. I think that the president then was competent. The report mentioned that his, the president's family was too heavily engaged in business. Engaged in what? Business. In the economy. That was in your, in your report? Okay. And I think it didn't like it. Uh, and then there was a back and forth. I started asking him to And that's one of the times I saw something. He was so mad that I came back in the pool. I don't think that would have happened on a top of the But the old man got so mad and he was beating on the president's desk. You see, I tell people one thing about leadership. Don't let the subject push you to the wall. Don't let when they push you to the wall. If it's an issue, make sure you try to separate the meeting or take a decision. Don't don't cast it and let them do it. Push you to the wall before you make a decision. Then that, that's one of the things that happens to the economy and the society during the, the President Tushman talk about time. And many times he let, them, he let the people push him to the wall. And when they push him to the wall, then they find out that any time they want a decision, they will try to push him to the wall. I think that's, that's not what I want. All right. So, uh, so what, what, what? Is the history of uh, 1979 rice riot? Uh, I was here, I don't know. I had left. Okay. The rice riot after. Uh, okay. The, uh, but even uh, though you were part, on the committee, so yeah. uh, 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 why why group of people? Why 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 he was president? His brother was also kind of Steve Tower was kind of and Steve Tower was a businessman. And, and there were a whole lot of hatred of uh, Steve Town in that period. Mm -hmm. You know when I went to when I went to school, there was some of my older people that were all kind of things. You know, mm -hmm. And you know, when you're like, I don't know what to say and how to put it. Tell me what to put it. Tell me what to put it. How 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 to now, now that uh, you said you were in here, but you were placed on the committee, and later you said the committee report wasn't taken seriously, uh, you don't think perhaps uh, some of those who were placed on the committee may not really do the best thing by doing an investigation because if you were around, you would know exactly how to approach the issue because uh, you were in around, like you one of one of the members of the committee that was some of the issues the committee reports was into the space they don't think so. No, not that. You know, they, 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 they had people from all walks of life, all from different, the security, the uh, uh, like educational sector, uh, Dr. Baker was the president of the 
I just know what's going on. Check the earth. Dying for us only, you know, necessarily for us only. I always say that, you know, oh man, that's just it, my name for us only. You know, oh man, you're not poor for us only. And, and uh, a lot of people, from the security sector, from the military, I mean, they all brought the uh, different issues that was affecting the medicine. So, um, who did you interview during that time to gather the report? We had people on the community looking about the issues that was affecting the economy. And I said, you know, the communists, you know, this business people, also. Did, did you speak with someone from Par to also organize a protest? Did you speak with someone from 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 their end? Were they invited for for questioning or? But, but you see the protest, you don't know who protested. It was, it was something that just happened, you know. Even now, some of the boys are around the station. It was unfortunate. You see, you see, you there was not one person you could call and say you did it. They were, they were, they were, and you all were here, and you were here. That way, they were, every day they were left something here, and this, and this, somebody make it, yellow, got me down, somebody make it, everybody make it. All of y'all station there, one talking one thing from one side, more, the other one talking from the other side, more, and, you know, and so it, it started growing, yeah. and, and this thing happened, and, and so people took advantage of it. It was not really planned that this is what we would do, you know, they were talking about, but they got into that and it blew all the all the proportion. Mm -hmm. They themselves didn't realize what went. Because some of the people who, who did the 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 but when it happens, you don't know what happens. Right? People come with different motives. Like, like right now, I was concentrating. Where even Soya was running to be mayor. The university children were shy. They were, they were in the street making money. I told you, I said, yes, you know, put your hand in. It's a secret matter. I want you to realize Those people who are behind you, there is a more. You know, there's no, no rational people. Mm -hmm. I said, so anything happens, you are being responsible. You, you know, I said, even if they have the election and Jesus Christ sit at the pool and he announced that he didn't win, they will stay down in the street and say, no, they cheated. And you say, and I was just, I was just concentrating about the farming time. And when I got it from college, I was with the information. And I used to attend press press conferences. And I remember one day we discussed an issue that I think we were getting the court and they signed the agreement. The people wanted a sign to do that. The workers who strike. The president said, I cannot guarantee human nature. I so again. So, and I was trying to reflect on the Farmington Agreement. The Farmington Agreement, those fellows who are signing, in order to what they are doing, they are guaranteeing their supporters, and they can't do that because they don't know what their supporters will do. And if their supporters are in the nonsense, they will be a part of the Bass Association. And none of that are about that. We found that they will be a part of but what we are saying is that when the NEC announces that John Brown wins, nobody will move to say anything. And you don't know what will happen. Because some of your supporters already think they will have a win. Trump think John Brown will win. So if the Bible doesn't win, then people will, 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 will probably take the street. So they see that they will have. I think the first place. I can quiet it down. So so there might be, of the four or six of them, one person will win. 
Yeah, but I remember I was, you know, that when we had the election in uh, 19, prior to the 86 election, I brought President to go from the military to the leadership. When, before the, the result was announced, the political parties were on radio. Everyone claiming he won the election. So I called my secretary of my party. Don't play the fool. Don't go on that radio and announce that you won the election. The NDC is supposed to do it. Because if your four go and all four of your claiming you won the election, it's not possible. Mm -hmm. At least, if you are four there, one person is said, well, I think John Brown did better. And two of you said, yeah, all of you can claim that you won the election, there is something wrong with you. I said, so please, don't go there and say that uh, not won the election. All right. So are you comparing the past and now? So let's look at, let's look at uh, that scenario. I think you're speaking in the past and the same family agreement uh, was just signed. So, um, comparing the two situations now, like I said, you're talking about time pass. Hmm? You're talking about time pass. Time pass? Yeah, you're talking about things that happened uh, 40 years ago. Let me mm -hmm. just wait in a way. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we are headed for election, and there is agreement that has been signed, family agreement. Are you talking about, yes, the political leaders will go and sign with the mass set of no, they um, found now. Yeah, they, 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 they have signed with the mindset of living up to what they signed, what they have signed, but uh, they are not in the minds of their of their supporters. Right. So perhaps the supporters might think otherwise. Now, you as somebody who been around for years, for decades, uh, what can you recommend for the next election that we are uh, about to go to in October of this year? Well. I don't know what you want to worry about. I am simply saying that I was reflecting the conversation we had at the press conference with President Trudeau. I cannot guarantee human behavior. You know, I cannot let you make, you cannot let you make human behavior. But that being the case, those political leaders cannot guarantee their followers' behavior what they will do in any circumstance. Sure. So that if the election was held, because right now, if you talk to A, they say they will tell you we'll win the election. We got the power. You talk to B, they will tell you the same thing. You talk to C, they will tell you the same thing. Now, when the votes are cast and it is announced and A doesn't win, A will say the two days because he knew he had it so he so would but the political leaders have signed that there will be no violence. You cannot guarantee what they will do. And if they get them by and they, and they show that, that your follower, you are in trouble. Because you have signed an agreement that you are going against. So by association, you are part of it. All right, so the you question is saying anything that well, you know, it's true, we will not allow and then we will take whatever the enemy say. But our power, we cannot guarantee. All right. So uh, my my question here is um, there this, this uh, there was an American journalist, a poly political journalist at the time, Albert Put Albert Put uh, did a report well, just really true, uh, quoting our witnesses' account. Uh, the our witnesses are those who Albert Put spoke with before coming with a report. They blame the government for tear oh, gassing what? for tear gassing. The report, was, yeah, on the rest riot. Right? After that report was released, May 1979, a month after the rest riot. Mm -hmm. and in that report, some of the eyewitnesses' account revealed uh, that he that he that he, he wrote and published. They blame government for tear gassing power office in Monrovia. They blame government for tear gassing the protesters and and, and, and. so to large to a larger extent they blame government for the violence. All right, uh, what but are you reading about that? Well, let's go back. Mm -hmm. There were people breaking down, breaking down stores. Stores. And so the government had to use whatever it, power it had to 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 to, 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 get to restore order. So okay. they, they they didn't. The people were not just marching the street and, and the court uh, take the action. Uh, that, that was, uh, you know the report you got. That's the one in the show. 
on the issue that your side, the man side, and there's the truth. Mm -hmm. uh, three sides. At least uh, someone told me the late uh, church was a uh, part of the four. I forgot what the four was, but the three I know the story is my side, your side, and the truth. Mm -hmm. So, when government used to have that, they were using them on those people who were, were, were breaking stones and taking their goods out there. And now the people who were just marching. That's not right. But it, it came out here, they were using their yard in, 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 in a general nature, which is not true. So, so um, that um, investigation had to do with the general yeah. nature of yeah. the protest. But your report had to do with uh, what gave rise to what the gave rise? What, what in the economy? You yeah. see, uh, protests are this. Come out of it. When the people rise up, the people are right. Why? Because the people are the downtrodden, and they will take and take until they can't take no more. I saw something when I was in the States, the, 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 the Caribbean area. They have buses. They the poor people in you know, all buses. But when they got angry, they started busting down the buses, and I, I was surprised. I said, what? This is the one, this is somebody said, when the poor man gets angry, he doesn't care. He doesn't care. He, 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 anything, whether it's for your interest or anything, he will respond. So, so with that, uh, Mr. Fire, I come with this question. With that now, since the uh, the protest was were provoked by the anchor of the, of the poor man. So do you think, was there any right uh, to tear gas to those who anger me have led them to break into people's home and take well, things from them? If the anger led you to go break into somebody, then anger will lead you to them to shoot them. <laughs> 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 mm -hmm. So I'm just reading from, okay, so let, let me progress now. Yeah, I'm at the office. Right home. And that was so this, was it a good concept? Okay, so Mr. Far, how how did the if we go to the store, you see, I was president of and he announced his uh, agricultural policy. That's how I started to go to farm. And I told him, I said, well, Mr. President, this is a good program we have, but it's incomplete. It's just one step. What you need to do now is to start putting uh, things together so that when the people go to that store and they grow their products, produce, and they bring it to, to town and they don't sell it, and they don't sell it, government will have to buy it. This is what got America what she is today. Buy and give it to institute. Sometimes it's way away. So to encourage you to go and produce more. Oh, because you go you go your cassava today, you bring it and you can't sell it and you're not, you're not gonna go back there in that house. Alright, so I was asking the question, Mr. Fahad. Um, yes, I'm in my office, come out there and sit down and wait. But you know, I'm on the fourth floor, and then you know, you know where I am? But, yeah, but then come up, I told you, I'm upstairs. Mr. Fahad, you're on the camera right now. Yeah, so I'm on the camera. Oh, so I was asking this question. How did the 1979 rest riot influence the April 12th, 1980 coup. How? What can you say? Was there anything that. Well, it, it could have a limit. Mm -hmm. That they saw a crack that it could penetrate. They saw it. Because when that happened, I think the government brought soldiers from Guinea. There was a contingent of Guinea soldiers here. And, and some of those things angered. The army and So that that gave that, like I said, the president did not take some very hard decision and he should have taken And so people took advantage of it. They have exploited it. That's what happened. You know, so you you have to be as a leader. You have to understand that the second issue you have to take the decision and take it now. 
You don't have to wait. You have to pick and take it down. And regardless of why you take it, people will do a real life. God do not be giving the nonsense. But when you linger with it and you give that, then you say, oh, okay. So uh, since the rest of our year, um, uh, even bigger one happened after the arrest riot, which was the, the coup. And after the coup, uh, uh, another one escalated and it went all over the country in terms of the civil war. They came Charles Taylor and Charles Taylor too ran out and the like, province still continued to be the same. To be seen. Now, what do what you think? You be around. What do you think would be uh, the remedy to put some of these, you know, problems into a package and don't, you know, let it go? All right. I, I, I didn't be wrong. We have a problem with drugs in the world. The Chinese, Canada, you know how they handle it? There's no drug dealer in China. They catch you with it, when they do that, they save you. They execute you. Aha. Uh -huh. One of these advantages, we may say it's harsh, it's this, but you have to take the right decision for your country and your society. Otherwise, I'm going to I'll execute one million and then let, we, we save a uh, hundred, or we save the million and, and kill a million. Because look at our streets, look at our young people. It's so are you saying yes and uh, the leadership coming past and every person uh, not been doing well to... I'm not saying that. We are discussing if you, you can draw your conclusion. Don't draw from me. I'm saying Mr. Fah has said this. But I'm just telling you that there's one other thing. We, uh, the government or the president need to put the scope of measure. Okay, right now we have a case right now going to make uh, $100 million dollars. Yeah. What's happening to that? Anybody here where they, they, they go to court? I mean, that meaning they should have already brought in the center of the town, binding and those people. I've been, I've been done and the people are in court. They burn the thing? They burn the drugs. Everybody's like? Right? Yeah. Where is it? At the at the are the BPC. Are you in the At the BPC. Was it was in the container or you're yeah, sorry? No. They display the drugs and they burn it. You know what all the drugs are they burn it? Okay. So maybe. Next question. Yes, thank you, Mr. Fires, as we draw the conclusion of this, of this interview. And my colleague asked a very good question. Uh, the, the reason for this interview, each time when the April, uh, the April 14th or the April 12th come about, we would like to know what uh, what they will achieve at that time. What have we well, learned? Me and, and yeah, I come, I mean, I come what have we learned? Who are uh, how are we going well, about, well, you know, they are, they are missing that. Missing yeah, he's, that. He says something very important. Is it, the, reason, the reason we stay seeing all kinds of things around is policy. I think that one thing you told us. It was unfortunate what, what they did the president talking about because nothing has changed. Nothing has improved. Uh, we are still, you know, going the way we're going. And, and Do we see sign of any reoccurrence of that day? Or have we passed by what have been? Yeah, I think about what you see. Because anything I say, Mr. Fahada, or Mr. Faha says that Mr. Faha is trouble. And when you journalists and come here and try to talk, I say, Well, you are a journalist. You supposed to go on the ground, you supposed to be telling me why not me. You should know. So you are you think this bad? I said, Well, you walk the street, what do you think? One of you should tell me. The journey is in the right. And it can take me back to You understand? So, the, 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 the effect of, of, of situation is not, it's all of us. We are present. It's not one of us. I could be, okay, I'm fine. And, you know, that I will come and meet them. They say, oh, the prices, and when they did them, I said, well, you know, you know, even though I come back to the minister today, I will not come back to the minister tomorrow. Mm -hmm. So I have to know what I'm doing because tomorrow when I get, whatever I do today will affect me tomorrow. Mm -hmm. if, I, if I let the president go out because I can get a free, tomorrow I won't get a free. 
من هم آره به پوزیش آنها و آن گروه هم از تو نگاه که میمون که نام آبام آبادی. تو آکنون آکنون کی مانده بود؟ آکنون آقا میتونی بگی میگه از نام اونی افکنی و افکنی. اما از این میشه اما نه فکنی بوده. وای وای فکنی تو مارو. تو ایشون فکر میکنن آقا میتونی. میگن یه نوع از آواتانی است مالی آپرنا مالی لبنی. That in the level is permanent. The question is, no position is permanent. If it was, you wouldn't come here. Mm -hmm. I'm here today, I won't be here tomorrow. So I can know, as I said here, that I won't be here tomorrow. So what I do here, I'll be very careful because it will haunt me tomorrow. Mm -hmm. I had a situation I told you about, my father, a finance minister. I dropped a white one day. We have there are two lifts there. One was over, one was over. Our group of people come to work and they were standing out waiting for the lift. The lift came down. Door open, there's a guy in the lift who regulated. When the door opened, she was out of the the minister I said, no sir. And let these people in the office now. Take that much. I'm more person. Who wants to go there? Let's go. I said, because tomorrow, this is a public building. Tomorrow I won't be here. I'm in time here to advance that building. When something happens, I will be the first one. Men move from here. When you are here, they will. Everybody is saying that. And that's what will happen. Tomorrow you go there. Oh, man, you get up from here. Man, you are the one. You know. It's still happening. You know. I said, it's true. I said, I'm going to get inside and let's go. You call me down here. I just want me. I'm going to get to work. I'm going to have to go here. All of the side, I mean, all the men here, you know, hip-hop, I said, I said, I'll stand here tomorrow. I will be standing where you are. I will be the one you decide you saw today. Yeah. When you are really saying, I know. All right, Mr. Fahad, this is my final question. I'm sure if my police doesn't have something that I will go to conclude the interview. But, uh, uh, I still, I'm still bothered with this question. Some air camp says, I mean, that the uh, power has got out, the power and its support of got out. Who? Power, the progressive ally of Nigeria at the time, the uh, states, the uh, governors, or. And you know where that power came from? Where did they come from? You know where it came from? Hmm. Came from the university. Mm -hmm. They were all, all university students. Mm -hmm. And they said they are making that noise. They said that now it has even intensified. They got political I, I'm okay. When the last time I would love to be the president, I will close it down immediately. The student activity, the political activities. No university in the world where it happened. The student council is the body between the student and the administration, not the political party. You want to know that we got a whole lot of political party on it. No university in the world where I've been, like they got some nonsense. Like they have other things. They're writing books, they're writing <laughs> things, they're doing something. They have big club, they have this thing. They, you know, I, not, not political thing. Where, where, where is that? Where, yeah, where political party. Not put that thing down that way. So, and, 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 and you see, it's one thing now, because most of the people who now are in government came from that nonsense. Mm -hmm. That's how they got. Question: uh, We have to go there and then now free, free tuition for university. It doesn't have to be anywhere in the world. No, university you do you have to get a loan for students. I, but you fund it down. I will get you know the people down there for you can help. When you get to university, they make they have program loan. You get loan for going to university. When you get you get your job, you pay. Not free tuition. Scholarship. It I went to university. I had a kid because I was in college, I was on public was college, it's a very kind of scholarship. They have scholarship, but not get free. Get yeah, university, even if they have to find money to get, you know, get, you see? And the student run it, they, they, they cause you all kind of trouble. Hmm. I thought all right. All right, so I was asking. And so, and what, what, what has improved in the country? You think the president was pressured to have that now that free tuition? The, the, the president, I think, mm -hmm. was told by the people around him who were part of that nonsense. So you know, you know that they were quiet. Don't wrap up, okay, you know you were quiet then. Okay. 
So by giving them to hold me, the person go and now free to return, they will stop. They stay passing me. They stay passing me. That won't that won't do it. Establish a scholarship program, establish a loan program that you sign, when you pay, you pay. In America, you, 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 you get a loan. You make a loan for you to go to school. Because now you know what you want. In the elementary school, you try to help people go to school. When you get there, you know what you want. But I don't the loan school for you. So finally, I was asking, um, Sunday Khan says, Pa and its supporters, have gathered, you know, around the, the, the bikes of the executive mansion, coming from the police station side, and they have decided to walk out, you know, their protest. Walk out, huh? The protest. Yes. We protest. The, 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 the 1970s of the protest, after they gathered, I mean, people thought of them, they have decided to do, to, to leave the protest, to go home. When government decided to use, you know, extreme force on them, uh, that's, that's another account. Another account says there were troops sent for from Guinea to come and quiet the situation. Do you mm -hmm. think if those accounts are right, do you think was where they the, the appropriate approach to have addressed the situation at the time? That's the final I, question. I, I know, I know, I know there were Guinea um, troops stationed at the time. But I don't know. But let me tell you something. When I left the university, why are there not in the North and North? The university is telling me they started by the North and North. Talking about the university. And they got a message. The president was in for the North and North. So they got together and they started to march to get a resolution to the North. They started marching. President Thurman is the man we want to talk about. So they probably got a better. See, I was on the back of it. I saw it. Tottenham is a man. You see, Tottenham is not a man you want. Tottenham is a man you got. And Tottenham is a man you want to be. You see, let me tell you. I don't know what to do. I won't go to the university. I won't let you go to the school. When you're back in the Now, one of y'all got a job. Y'all walk the street with your books on your head. They went back and they went into the cocoon. They do that nonsense again. You have to deal with a situation where you have to do it. You need to go, you see, you're a I said, I won't go to the university. I won't let you go to the university. That's your nonsense. When you're a black man, nobody will be able to do it. We will walk the freedom of the world with a on your head. You know what happened? Hmm. The street in Auburn began to fly red. Because they know the man was in joking. Even in your own case. You love them, but you don't tell them. You want them to do something, you want them to be part of society. You don't tell them. I got three kids. I have, I, I, I have three of my own. I have to five. Thank God. Thank God. All right, Mr. Farah, it was nice having this interaction with you on this eve of the, uh, I mean, the 44th anniversary of uh, the most talk about. Uh, 1979 arrest riot that still has different accounts of what actually happened on the day. People who were so hard linked with it are still not taking responsibility. And according to your government, of government also did not take responsibility based on your commission, on what your commission find. And, and government finds it difficult to, to accept your report. But it's nice, in, I mean, very nice now. I think with you, it is our hope that uh, those interviews will help us see how to, you know, shift. The paradigm of our our governance, so that we can avoid the reoccurrence of some of the things that happened years back. Uh, of course, there are evidence that since uh, the 1979 and 1980, nothing has changed. We still live in the same situation. Red is a problem. I mean, governance is a problem, and and the protests are all around the place. So, if April April uh, of 14 was meant to change anything, it could have changed by now. Thanks for speaking to us. I would not say other with you. Thank you. Thank you. I was happy to come to you. You know, I know when you get out, my wife is here. I told you not to talk. No <laughs> man. I tell you, I tell you, you know, they say, for evil to strike, good men do nothing. Right. And for some of us, I, I, I'm considered.
an elder of the company. Right. I think they said that I'm not concerned. I don't think so. But, yeah. Yeah, but, you know, I got another one. The, the, the point here, now, you know, as you all go around and think, think of it, the major part of shaping the economy is society. It rests on you. It's how you put those reports out there. Mm -hmm. That's that's the point. It's how it goes out there, how it's interpreted. You know, you you, you have to you you have to you have to go to a special training to know how to put the thing at the proper way to, to 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 gain the momentum or the weight it needs to. Um, because we have now it, it, it's a game now. We got these people on talk show. They all talking nonsense because now they come and they say they won't be uh, won't be won't go, 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 probably up it. I don't know about it. And I saw something. Uh, one of the one of the young men who said he was going to run for the presidency, and he got his team. They drove to the the, the university. And when he saw that they didn't get any note, the, the, the time of the day, he came by. He changed his mind. He says, you know, you think that the university. That way they are bogged and they go there and they kill them. You know? So you have to point it out there. They kill them for tomorrow. Right. This is not the time. Most of the things they do. And the government has to take that, that strength. Well, so we are just doing it. But most of the people around here, they, they were part of that thing. That way they come, that way they came from. That way they came from. So, you all put it out in a way that is the look. That's what happened now. And this is the summary. This is the 